Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to change metal color and turn silver to gold. And this is especially cool if you're working with uh, jewelry. Uh, let's say if you have um, a website or something that you need to do this, well, you're gonna learn how to recreate metals and place the same photographs from silver to gold or rose gold, whatever it is. This will allow you to forget about spending money uh, for photo photographers, for them to shoot um, product photos for you and spend a lot of money, or it will also allow you to forget about the time wasted on searching for appropriate product photos for your uh, web store or whatever you need this for. Now, thing is, um, you can use this method for any metal related product. So it's not just about jewelry. So keep that in mind and uh, let's get started. So in the bottom corner, as you can see, I have examples of golden colors. We have 14K, 18K and 24K. And what I'm gonna do is uh, choose 18k and uh, let's see how we go from there. So we have st sterling sil silver ring here and first step I'm going to take is create a solid color and you can do that by going here in the half circle button next to the folder button here. Uh, press solid color and go ahead and choose the color that you want to apply to your metal too. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a color that is relatively average color of the gold because you can see that we have variations of golden colors and this is due to the fact that the shadows are uh, being reflected and it alters the shading of the golden color. But let's start with the, the most, um, most likely color that we wanna do, press OK. And uh, as you can see, all our screen area is now covered with this color. Uh, go ahead and click the white rectangle next to the layer um, and press Control or Command I. What that's going to do is revert the color and create this effect, which is basically layer mask. And what that does is it hides everything. So right now we have just hidden the color that we've chosen. We haven't deleted it. And with using a brush and a white color, we can reveal this color again. So why I did that was in order to apply it to the ring only and nothing else. Now, as you can see, if I choose white color and select my brush and set it the hardness to very soft, we can just go over it and paint it. Now, of course, this doesn't look good. Uh, so what we do is we go to layer style where it says normal here and press color over there. And voila, you see that our metal changed. It looks pretty amazing. Now it needs some work. So we need to make sure that it covers all the sides of the metal. Uh, now, good thing about the color mode is that it does not affect the white background, uh, which can be uh, beneficial if you're working with a product that is like this. Now it does affect the shadows right here. So in order to remove that, we use black color again and just go over the parts we don't wanna use, which is hiding. So white is for showing the color and black is for hiding it. So work that with your mouse or your drawing pad and make sure it looks good. Make sure you cover all of the parts of the metal, right? before going to the next step. So I think I've done that. And then I'm gonna go over the reflection a little bit, but not too much. So I can do this and then delete it a little bit with a bigger brush, just to make it look like it's, um, that it is golden reflection and not the old silver ring reflected. So once I did that, uh, it looks much better, but it's still not purely finished because we need to add that nice shading it has. So I'm gonna create another solid color and this time select the color that is from the same ring. 
18K, but it's a little bit darker. And I'm going to go over the white rectangle, press the Control Command I again, and I'm going to start shading it uh, with this new color with my brush tool. Now I'm going to select not the whole part, but only the parts that I think will be um, nice to color. And again, I will put the normal mode into color mode and that will allow me to paint it on the uh, without really destructing the image. So I will go over the edges because I think um, that edges are collecting more color and also the darker parts like here where there might be more shade and don't worry I know it doesn't look good but we we're gonna fix that in a moment so I'm gonna go over here uh, anything that I see is darker than the usual so all these white areas can be left alone but maybe this part can be a bit darker something like that also here also here in this area and maybe here, and I think that should be it. Okay, so once I do that, now the good thing about it is that I can reduce the opacity a, a little bit, so it looks like it's blending in much more, and uh, it's it, it's gonna become much more natural. Uh, but also, if let's say we don't really like this color that we've chosen, we can directly double click this layer not the not the rectangle on the right but the layer thumbnail on the left right here where the color is showing just double click that and you can simply select another color that you think fits better so i think i'm gonna go with something like this and i can just compare this color which is the new color that i'm going to choose with the old color uh, which is the primary color that is uh, put on our silver ring. So uh, once I've chosen that, I make sure that this is slightly darker than the first one. Maybe make it a bit more darker. There we go. That should be nice. And since we're 100 opacity and we lower that, it's going to blend in even better. So this doesn't make too much difference, as you can see, but it does make it look more like a golden ring which is our mission. And I think mission is accomplished. Again, you can apply this to any metal and also keep in mind, you can also change it to rose gold or, or uh, I don't know, green adamant, anything you want basically with by using the same method. So I hope that this helped you out in some way and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.